It's the first high school in this village of Mvezo, and certainly the first of its kind in the Eastern Cape. A massive educational facility boasting state-of-the-art resources from computer classes to laboratories. While workers are still busy with some finishing touches, after a year building the school, it opened its doors of learning to the lucky 420 learners yesterday, all of them mostly from the surrounding villages. And teachers didn't waste time, commencing with teaching and learning on the very first day. This school is going to transform the locality. That's number one. Number two, children that are coming out of here are going to be stars, especially those are working, that are working hard and smart. And we expect them to compete very effectively against national students or former models in schools. The school will only have three grades this year, eight, nine, and 10. Grade 11 will be added next year. This will all culminate to the school's first matric class in 2016. I'm very grateful to be the part of the school because some of the learners couldn't be the part of the school, but me as well, myself, I came to the school and so far it's so very good. I've learned a lot. I feel very, very humbled and blessed because I'm following the footsteps of Tatu Mandela even though he is dead. The school offers four specialized subject streams, engineering, science, technology and agriculture. Education in the Eastern Cape is still facing enormous challenges. In fact, many schools in this province are still lacking basic necessities such as chairs and desks. But this school here is said to be a beacon of hope, a catalyst for meaningful change, as well as a possible model for more such schools. Tammy Dixon, SABC News, in Mtata.